Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Career Prep. Today we'll learn about nested square roots and shortcut methods to solve nested square root problems. These types of problems are very frequently asked in various competitive exams. So please learn this topic thoroughly. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. So what is a nested square root? A nested square root is an expression where one square root contains another square root. The numbers under the square root can be either same or different. Look at this example. Here the numbers under the square root are same. Root 2 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus root 2. Here the numbers under the square root are same. Look at this example. Here the numbers under the square root are different. Root 134 plus root 1 uh, plus root 86 plus root 196. Here the numbers under the square root are different. Nested square roots with same numbers under the square root are of two types. In the first type the square root can go on till infinity. In the second type, the square root can stop after a few terms. A few examples for nested square roots that can go on till infinity are as follows. Square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 and so on till infinity. Another example is root 2 minus root 2 minus root 2 minus root 2 and so on till infinity. One more example is root 2 multiplied by root 2 multiplied by root 2 multiplied by root 2 and so on till infinity. Observe that in these examples, in the first example, uh, the square roots are getting added infinite times. In the second example, the square roots are getting subtracted infinite times. And in the third example, the square roots are getting multiplied infinite times. Here are a few examples for nested square roots that stop after a few terms. Root 2 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus root 2. Here, the square roots stop after four terms. The square roots are added here four times. One more example is root 2 minus root 2 minus root 2 minus root 2. Here the square roots stop after four terms. Here the square roots are subtracted four times. Another example is root 2 multiplied by root 2, multiplied by root 2, multiplied by root 2. Here also the square roots stop after 4 terms. Here the square roots are multiplied 4 times. Hope you have understood the difference between nested square roots that go on till infinity and nested square roots that stop after a few terms. Problems on nested square roots with same numbers under the square root can be solved using quadratic equation formula but that is a lengthy process in this video we'll discuss shortcut methods to solve such problems without using the quadratic equation formula type 1 is nested square roots that go on till infinity type 2 is nested square roots that stop after a few terms. We will solve a few examples under both these types so that you can understand the shortcut method better. Let's solve a few problems where the square roots go on till infinity. y is equal to square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 20 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here you will notice that 
the square roots are added in finite times. So use the formula y is equal to plus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4x divided by 2 where x is the number under the square root. Here x is equal to 20. Now substituting the value of x in the formula we get y is equal to plus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4 multiplied by 20 divided by 2. 4 multiplied by 20 is 80 and 80 plus 1 is 81. So now we have plus 1 plus root of 81 divided by 2. Root of 81 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So y is 5. Another method to find the value of y is to find two factors of the number under the root such that the difference between the factors is 1. Since here the square roots are added in finite times, the value of y is the larger factor. Here the number under the root is 20 and 20 can be written as the product of its uh, factors 4 and 5. You will see that the difference between these two factors is 1. So 20 is equal to 4 multiplied by 5. Here 5 is the larger factor. So the value of y is 5. y is equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 11 plus square root of 11 plus square root of 11 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here since the square roots are added uh, infinite times use the formula y is equal to uh, plus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4x divided by 2 where x is the number under the square root. Here x is 11. So substituting the value of x in the formula, we have y is equal to plus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4 multiplied by 11 by, divided by 2. 4 multiplied by 11 is 44 and 44 plus 1 is 45. So y is equal to 1 plus root of 45 divided by 2. Now root of 45 is 6.7. So y is equal to 1 plus 6.7 divided by 2 which is 7.7 .7 divided by 2. So y, is, so y is equal to 3.85. y is equal to square root of 12 minus square root of 12 minus square root of 12 minus square root of 12 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here you will notice that the square roots are subtracted in finite times. So use the formula y is equal to minus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4x divided by 2 where x is the number under the square root. Here x is 12. So substituting the value of x in the formula we have y is equal to minus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4 multiplied by 12 divided by 2. 4 multiplied by 12 is 48 and 48 plus 1 is 49. So now we have minus 1 plus root of 49 divided by 2. Root of 49 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the value of y is 3. Notice the difference between the formula for square roots that are added in finite times and the formula for square roots that are subtracted in finite times. In the formula for square roots that are added in finite times, plus 1 is in the numerator. In square roots, that are subtracted in finite times, minus 1 is in the numerator of the formula. Observe the difference here. 
Now, another method to find the value of y is to find two factors of the number under the root such that the difference between the factors is 1. Since here the square roots are subtracted in finite times, the value of y is the smaller factor. Here the number under the uh, square root is 12 and 12 can be written as the product of its factors 3 and 4. Notice that the difference between the factors is 1. So 12 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4. Here 3 is the smaller factor. So the value of y is 3. Notice that when the square roots are added in finite times, the value of y is the larger factor. When the square roots are subtracted in finite times, the value of y is the smaller factor. y is equal to square root of 13 minus square root of 13 minus square root of 13 minus square root of 13 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here, since the square roots are subtracted in finite times, use the formula y is equal to minus 1 plus root of 1 plus 4x divided by 2, where x is the number under the square root. Here, x is equal to 13. So, substituting the value of x in the formula, we have y is equal to minus 1 plus uh, root of 1 plus 4 multiplied by 13 divided by 2. 4 multiplied by 13 is uh, 52 and 52 plus 1 is 53. So now you have y is equal to minus 1 plus root of 53 divided by 2. Root of 53 is approximately equal to 7.3. So y is equal to minus 1 plus 7.3 divided by 2 which is nothing but 6.3 divided by 2. So the value of y is 3.15. y is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here you will notice that the square roots are added first, then subtracted alternately in finite times. So use the formula y is equal to 1 plus root of 4x minus 3 divided by 2, where x is the number under the square root. Here x is equal to 3. Now substituting the value of x in the formula, we get y is equal to 1 plus 4 multiplied by 3 minus 3 divided by 2, which is 1 plus root of 12 minus 3 divided by 2. 12 minus 3 is 9. So now we have y is equal to 1 plus square root of 9 divided by 2. Square root of 9 is 3 and 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the value of y is 2. y is equal to square root of 2 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 minus square root of 2 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here you will notice that the square roots are subtracted first and then added alternately in finite times. So use the formula y is equal to minus 1 plus root of 4x minus 3 divided by 2 where x is the number under the square root. Here x is equal to 2. Substituting the value of x in the formula we get y is equal to minus 1 plus uh, root of 4 multiplied by 2 minus 3 divided by 2 which is minus 1 plus uh, root of 8 minus 3 divided by 2. 8 minus 3 is 5. So now we have y is equal to minus 1 
plus root 5 divided by 2. Square root of 5 is 2.2. So 2.2 minus 1 divided by 2. 2.2 minus 1 is 1.2. So now we have y is equal to 1.2 divided by 2 which is 0 0.6. So y is equal to 0 0.6. Now when you look at this question, you will notice that the square root is added first and then subtracted in finite times. So you have 1 in the numerator. In this problem, the square root is subtracted first and then added in finite times. So you have minus 1 in the numerator in the formula. y is equal to root 7 multiplied by root 7 multiplied by root 7 multiplied by root 7 and so on till infinity. Find the value of y. Here the square roots are multiplied in finite times. In such cases the answer will be the number under the square root itself. Here the number under the square root is 7. So the value of y is 7. y is equal to square root of 10 multiplied by square root of 10 multiplied by square root of 10 multiplied by square root of 10. Find the value of y. Here the square roots are multiplied but the square roots stop after a few terms. That is here the uh, square root of 10 stops after 4 times. So in such cases to find the value of y use the formula y is equal to number raised to the power 2 to the power x minus 1 by 2 to the power x. Here the number is the number under the square root. In this problem the number is 10. Now square root of 10 stops after 4 times so x is equal to 4. So 2 raised to the power x is nothing but 2 raised to the power of 4 which is 16. 2 raised to the power x minus 1 is 16 minus 1 which is 15. So y is equal to 10 raised to the power 15 by 16. Let's solve a few nested square root problems where the numbers under the square root are different. y is equal to root of 248 plus root of 52 plus root of 144. Find the value of y. You will notice that the numbers under the square root are different. So and moreover the square root stops after a few terms. So here to find the value of y first you have to start from the last number. Square root of 144 is 12. 12 plus 52 is 64. So square root of 64 is 8. 8 plus 248 is 256. And square root of 256 is 16. So the value of y is 16. y is equal to square root of 134 plus square root of 86 plus square root of 196. Find the value of y. Here, here also the numbers under the square root are different and the square root stops after a few terms. So start from the last number. Square root of 196 is 14. 14 plus 86 is 100. So square root of 100 is 10. 10 plus 134 is 144. And square root of 144 is 12. So the value of y is 12. Solve square root of 130 minus square root of 88 minus square root of 54 minus square root of 27 minus square root of 4. Here also you will see that the numbers under the square root are different. So start from the 
last square root so square root of 4 is 2 27 minus 2 is 25 so square root of 25 is 5 54 minus 5 is 49 square root of 49 is 7 88 minus 7 is 81 square root of 81 is 9 130 minus 9 is 121 so square root of 121 is 11 so the final answer is 11 viewers please go through this video till you are perfect with the shortcut methods for solving nested square root problems if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you